This is the Revolt 1600 watt titanium sold by Fantex with a current MSRP of $400 US. It is a fully modular ATX 3.0 power supply with an additional hybrid fan mode allowing passive operation for low loads. The power supply comes in reasonable packaging and measures 150 by 86 by 210 millimeters. Considering cable flexibility, it has an effective depth of 210 millimeters. The Revolt 1600 watt titanium is accompanied by the accessories as shown and supported by a 12 year warranty. This warranty period is as expected for a power supply of this class. This power supply does not come with any cables by default. Instead, cable kits are available for separate purchase, or you can opt for custom cables from CableMod. This design is marketed as a benefit, allowing you to tailor the cable length and style to your preferences, though it does require an additional purchase. LTT Labs conducted all of the following testing at an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The full test suite, including tests at extended temperature ranges, is available on the lab's website linked in the description. But before we get to the test results, here's a message from our sponsor. Thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. We've been using their secure high-speed VPN for years, and you can too. Get a special deal by going to pia.com slash PSU circuit. The Revolt 1600 watt titanium carries an 80 plus titanium rating, and we have measured 94% efficiency at 50% of its maximum rated load. That is equivalent to power supplies in a similar class. Throughout the full rated output power range of 1600 watts, there was a 0.165 voltage drop on the 12 volt rail inside of ATX specifications and similar to other power supplies we've tested. The rest of the output rails met ATX specifications. This performance is as expected and will support a variety of component configurations. The peak to peak signal ripple of the fully loaded power supplies 12 volt rail was better than average for its price and wattage at 27 millivolts. While the 5 volt and 3.3 volt rails had signal ripple of 23 millivolts and 29 millivolts respectively, modern power supplies typically have no issue complying with ATX ripple specifications. And this unit is no different. We test a power supply's resilience to momentary power dropouts and ripples using our brownout test that interrupts the input power for a few milliseconds. This allows us to measure how long of a power dropout the sample can sustain without interrupting the output power. The Revolt 1600 watt titanium was measured to withstand an 18 millisecond and 17 millisecond dropout at full rated load for 115 volt and 230 volt inputs respectively. This is high and is a good option if power reliability is an issue. The excursion test momentarily applies up to 200% of the rated load to test a power supply's ability to support components that may temporarily require more than their rated current. The Revolt 1600 watt titanium withstood all of the excursions but failed to maintain ATX voltage limits in a few cases. This is unlikely to impact reliability for a vast majority of workloads. The Revolt 1600 watt titanium is equipped with the protections as listed, providing the full suite of protections for you and your equipment. We measured the overpower protection to engage at a maximum of 134% of rated load, while the 12 volt rail alone is capable of 177 amps, 133% of its rating. This is equivalent to similarly rated power supplies, offering good protection against component faults, while also allowing the power draw to slightly exceed the official rating. We recommend the Revolt 1600 watt titanium because of its high efficiency and resilience to brownouts. For full specifications and test results, follow the link to the product page on the LTT Labs website.